Thanks for joining us for Alive at Five. We have been watching some of your thoughts on the story that we have today. I'm here with Caitlin Ross and Cheryl Preheim. Ladies, today we're going to dig into a very scary subject. Women all across the country are really frightened and talking about sex trafficking. More and more we're seeing tweets like these. Let's show you what people are really saying out here about this. They say things like sex trafficking is at an all time high. Women should stay in the house as much as they can. Some say they're terrified to go anywhere alone and feel like they need to bring protection on outings like pepper spray or even a taser. So we don't want to water this down. Sex trafficking is a real serious issue in Atlanta. Our Atticus investigative team found it's a $290 million underground industry, but there are also some really harmful rumors being posted online about sex trafficking, and we want to let you know what's real and what's not. We want you to take a look at just how some of those claims have spread online so quickly recently. One has been shared 65,000 times. It says 13 people in a recent Atlanta sex trafficking sting were Uber drivers we took that claim to Atlanta police. They have no record of it, nothing that could provide any proof for that claim. We've also covered a really serious case recently about a woman who was part of a church group. She was going up to people at Kroger asking if they wanted to join a Bible study. Suddenly, she finds this post online with her picture and her car tag accusing her of human trafficking. Police again say there is no evidence that her church group is involved in any sort of criminal activity.